Hey guys, and we're back today for another antivirus video. Today we're going to be doing a small amount of tweaking to the databasing. Um, and that's about it in preparation for the community plugin to run. Um, this will then enable the, um, the plugin I've written for you to download community databases. Giving you a much larger database, database set to load. Unfortunately, at the minute, we load here via um, just load one file. And uh, that's not really going to do it for us. Because I can't, or I could stack stack the signatures into your into your database file, but it's just going to become obscenely big. Um, and we already have the feature in, in the code to set up a look. Um, so what we're going to do is we can come down to, I believe it's in our scan utils, and we should have a, um, no, it might be in our scan core, or scan objects. <coughs> Sorry about my voice, uh, England played yesterday. Um, no. So it might be in our core. So essentially what I'm looking for is this scan folder. Um, which Delphi is not wanting to show me where it is. Uh, yeah, it is in utils. So, <clears throat> these two features are near on identical. Um, except from one returns an integer and the other returns nothing so what we're going to do is we're going to take a copy of this and we're going to put it here in our in our um, database core and we're going to write a new function we no we're going to call it we're actually going to use a procedure we're going to call it search for database And what we're going to give it is we're going to give it a path as a Unicode string. Have I not got windows to clear in here? Nope, I've missed the R. So, essentially what we're going to do is instead of loading a single file, um, we're going to search all of the paths, looking for um, any file that has the predefined mask, which we might as well have copied that entire, entire function. Like so. And we're going to use these predefined um, features to search for our new files. Now, we don't need subdirectories because we're not going to go outside of our subdirectory. So essentially what we can do is we should be able to, to get rid of this bit. Um, so it's such as new directory. Actually, we'll leave search directory in because I've just thought that I don't know whether we are going, uh, whether I'm going to use the community plugin to put it in a different folder. So we'll leave search for folders in. Um, we do need to modify this quickly. Um, as you can tell, um, it's not exactly planned. It's a bit difficult to to um, piece parts of the antivirus into videos and then string them together so that what you essentially get is a is a really long video. 
So we're going to take out the temp count. We don't need our temp count. Uh, there isn't going to be a result, so you can take the result out. And where we increase temp count here is where we want to load our database. So right, and that should be par. And that should do for our database mod for today. Um, I know it's not very long. Um, it's about six or seven minutes. Um, we are going to have to update the function on the boot quickly, on, on the load. So what we're going to do is instead of deleting this one, we're just going to tack it out. Um, and what we want to search is <coughs> the current directory. So we need to do a get current yeah. We need to I think you need to add an end to it. That is hmm. I don't know if you do need to we we will hold where this is and we will have we'll inspect what the string is returned to. And then we would like the database folder um, and then we would like to search for and this is where we obviously I'm going to change it uh, we would like to search for anything that has a .dat extension um, and then the last one we want to set to false currently um, we're setting it to false currently because I don't know whether when I write the the database load feature for the community plugin whether we uh, I will end up sticking them in a separate folder so that you can keep your your signatures separate from their from them or um, vice versa. So what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly copy this bit. And we're going to add ourselves a temp string. And we're just going to fill our temp string with that. And we want to halt there so that I can see what it is. And we can see that you do indeed need the slash. Right, so that will work fine. Um, so we can get rid of our temp string. Now, um, for now, if you are testing this, um, you need to untack this line. You can leave the search for databases enabled um, because if it doesn't find any DAT files in the folder databases then it shouldn't fail and it shouldn't load crap um, and that's about it for this uh, this week guys uh, I hope you enjoyed it um, do post in the comment section if there is something you'd like to see um, I am running out of um, small things to add in one go and, and at some point we will have to ask, start adding bigger things back in um, so tell me what you think and until next time guys